We're in advanced steel and we're taking a look at grey tech stairs and railings, in particular focusing upon railings. And we're going to look at the ending types in this video. So make sure you're in the handrails tab and then make sure you've selected ending type. Remaining in the top branch level of the tree structure here, the top rail, and then coming over here to the type, we're going to focus upon the elbow type for this instance. Activating that, it introduces a short section of rail and then also an elbow section. These can be adjusted by the parameters shown in the next sub tab called ending. Under here, remaining in the branch level at the top rail, we can actually change the length of this. And this will actually project this down based upon a 200 millimeter horizontal distance where it intersects here. Obviously the rail returns back round to the post and this is affected by the radius measurement in here. So if we change that to 100 millimeters, you'll see that distance change. I'm just going to pop this back to zero in here, just to pull that back. And I'm actually going to change this so this looped sort of elbow comes back and meets up at the mid rail point. And in here, I can change this value. I put in a measurement earlier on, which you can see on the screen, and I'm just adjusting that to give the correct radius. With that, you'll see that the straight element has actually disappeared off of the bit we've added in. Obviously, I do have a bit of an issue because I'm clashing with this middle rail extension. Um, so what I can do is come down into here, into middle rail, and obviously I can stay within this level. I don't actually need to branch down into either of these levels here, but just staying within mid rail, and then go from post. That will actually turn that off in that dialog. If I just pop back into the top rail level, I just want to put in a little measurement again, so I'm just going to extend that out back to my 200 millimeters so you can see it project out, and you can see the straight element has come back in. I may want to shape this so it is shaped around the post. So just adjusting that so you can see that, and I change under this one to cut type, fit to post contour. There is a little cutback figure in here that you can actually adjust if you need to, to adjust how far it cuts back based upon the contour to make a better fit. One final thing, obviously we have welds in place here, but you might want to make this into a poly rail. So by checking this merge ending, it will actually make this into one rail section that you can then put into a bending machine. That's a brief run through of how to use an elbow type end for the great tech stairs and railings. Thank you.